Welcome to our latest video in our GCSE revision series. This video is on the topic of smart materials. By the end of this video lesson, you should have an improved understanding of the meaning of the term smart material, and you should also be able to explain the properties and uses of smart materials, including thermochromic pigments, photochromic pigments, and polymer gels. Now in this video, just like others in our GCSE revision series, we're going to focus on how to answer exam questions. So here's the first exam question, read through the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. Now in this first exam question, we have a picture of some beach sandals and a mug in different conditions. And the question says smart materials are becoming widely used in everyday life and the diagrams show uses of two types of smart material. So it says for each of the items shown, name the type of smart material being used and describe the unusual property that makes it a smart material. So if we look at the picture of the beach sandals, you can see that with UV light, the beach sandals are a different color than they are with no UV light. So the type of smart material is a photochromic pigment, or just write photochromic for one mark. And its unusual property is that it changes color with changes in light intensity. So if you said photochromic, you get one mark. If you said it changes color with changes in light intensity, you get the second mark. So for part B, we have a picture of a mug and the mug is a different color when it's got hot water in compared to when it's empty. So the type of smart material is thermochromic, one mark for that. And its unusual property is that it changes color with changes in temperature. So if you said thermochromic, you get one mark. And if you said it changes color with changes in temperature, you get the second mark. So here's our second and final exam question. So once again, read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. So let's look at question two. So it says smart materials are materials whose property changes with changes in their surroundings. And then it says two types of smart material are thermochromic and photochromic paints give one similarity and one difference between the properties of these materials. So the similarity between thermochromic and photochromic paints are that they both change color with changes in the surroundings. So if you said that, you get one mark. And the difference between them is that thermochromic paints change color with changes in temperature and photochromic paints change color with changes in light intensity. So if you said that, you get the second mark. So the second part of this question says, magic snow is a special type of smart material that is capable of absorbing many times its own weight in water and it swells rapidly when it gets wet to form a snow-like mass. And the first part of this question then says, name the type of smart material present in magic snow. So that would be a hydrogel, one mark if you said that. And then it says, explain in terms of structure why this type of material is able to swell to such a degree. So if you said it contains crosslinks and these cause gaps between the chains which allow it to absorb water, that gets you a mark for that as well. So it's a two mark question, one for hydrogel and one for the idea that it contains crosslinks which causes gaps between chains to absorb water. So that concludes this video lesson. So after watching this video, you should have an improved understanding of the meaning of the term smart material, and you should also be able to explain the properties and uses of smart materials, including thermochromic pigments, photochromic pigments, and polymer gels. That concludes our video. Thank you for watching. This and other GCSE, AS, and A-level chemistry videos can be found on our YouTube channel, Dr. O Chemistry.